Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of mail time. I got this in the mail, and we're going to do a review on this ink. It is called... It is called... Hipponoto X Kiwi Inks Version 1 Limited Edition. This is a cute little bottle. It looks way bigger in these pictures. It was $25 for this little tiny bottle. So, we're going to do what we're going to see what we can do with it. It's supposed to have some sheen and some shimmer and it's going to be amazing. Today we're using the Jinhao 992 with a broad nib. And I'm just going to try and dunk and sunk. Okay, seems about as full as it's going to get. All right, right there, make sure to close the bottle. Ooh. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome, 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 welcome. I got my new ink, I know, it's going to be so exciting. This is the bottle. Welcome everybody. This is the bottle, came like this. It's very small, $25 plus shipping. We will see if it's worth it. All right, this is a broad nib. This is, what are we going to call this? Hipponoto X. Wow, that's a weird looking color. It's a very pretty magenta. One Yana, two Yana, three Yana, four Yana, five Yana. Oh, that's weird. It goes on a totally different color. It has some shimmer in it. That's exciting. And it doesn't bleed through. Not so far. We'll come back to that. Tomoe River. Yeah. Let's see. Hipponoto X. Ooh. One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, five Iana. We'll come back and look at that. Oof. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. The only time that it clogs a, a feed that I have found is if the sparkle are 
too much if there's too much sparkles. But some this this one, I turn it upside down. I can barely even see the the purple sparkles on the bottom. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. It's very dark. Oof. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna. So pre-mix is usually okay compared to homemade. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, Chris would know more about that than I would because she's the queen of all ink. I have found that it, there are amounts, every company puts a different amount of sparkles in their ink. Some are kind of intense and some are okay. Just really depends on um, the ink, I guess. I mean, I have also mixed my own, but I don't have, I don't put that, mu that much sparkle in it. I only put like less than a less than a, um, a fingernails worth of sparkle in my ink, unless I want it really sparkly. And I have a pen that it, I dedicate specifically to sparkles, which I do. I have a pen that's dedicated to sparkle plenty, and that is this one here. This one is dedicated to sparkles because it has. The, the feed, this ebonite feed, and it flows very well. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. And I have noticed that there are sometimes the companies don't have a standardized amount of sparkle that other companies do. Because I saw one lady, she got a, a shimmer ink, but there was like such little shimmer in it, you couldn't even see it. And then there's other people who have like so much shimmer in an ink that when you tip it back and forth it looks like one of those cool sand things that you see in the doctor's office with all the swirling and the twirling of the sparkle that's like this one that I made. I put a lot of sparkle in it. You can definitely see the sparkle The very wet ink. Three, four, five. Wow. These are going to be fantastic. Okay. Yay. Get to turn, turn the page. Cool. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Yeah, this is supposed to have a sheen, a shimmer, and like a halo effect to it. So, I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Cannot wait to see how good this is going to be.
1en, 2en, 3en, 4en, 5en. This fountain pen revolution broad nib is amazing. Okay. Almost done. Oh, that's weird. It almost came out like burgundy. Three, four, five. That is very strange. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. One Anna, two Anna. 3EN, 4EN, 5EN. One Anna, two Anna, three Anna, four Anna, five Anna. Yeah. We will definitely have to see how this comes out. Coloring, what do you say? Gonna go get some clean water, I'll be right back. Two shades. Half a month, yourselves. Lines. Why do you do the procedure multiple times? Is it different? Pa yes, it's different paper. People use a multitude of different papers in order to figure out which paper they might like to use the best. Some people only can afford cheap copy paper, which is some, some of the stuff that I'll go over in a minute. But some people can afford the really nice stuff, which is fine and dandy for them, but I want to know what it's like on the 99 cent store paper, because 
I am a tightwad. I'm not poor, I'm just a tightwad. And I like fountain pens, so... <laughs> I'll go over them here in just a second. I'm going to do this here little test. Now this is going to be cool, I can already tell. Oh, look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. What I'm doing now is I'm creating puddles on both sides of this line and then I drag the bristles through it. And I make a really cool painting. Isn't that cool? This is the, what do they call it, Chris? The Nick Stewart slash Marilyn Darling technique. <laughs> Nick Stewart puts a line down while there's already water down, and I put the water down after I put the line down. So that's the only difference. We will come back and look at this in a minute. Let it dry, and that'll hopefully look really cool. All right, let's take a look at some of these books now. Okay. Do, 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 do. And get some paper in here. All righty. Okay, this is the writing tablet from shopischolar.com. You can find this tablet at the Dollar Tree. It looks like this. This is very nice paper. It's one of my favorite papers to write letters on. And let's take a look here. We'll see if there's anything worth noting. Oh, I do see some gold. Is that sheen? Or is it shimmer? I can't tell. That's definitely gold. It's got like a gold sheen to it. There's supposed to be a blue sparkle, but I don't see the blue sparkle. Not on this paper, anyway. And the reason that we do the swipes at one second and then at five seconds is because nine times out of ten, using a piece of paper, if a person is left-handed, they can expect that it's going to be smeared at some point. And sometimes the ink doesn't get smeared very easily, and sometimes it does on different types of paper. This is just one type of paper. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is Expressit filler paper. You can find this at the 99 cent store. Let's see. There it is. You can see the blue sh shimmer on this one. Let me just try and zoom in because maybe that will make better sense. Oh, you can see the blue shimmer. Can you see it? That is freaking cool. It looks like a dark brown with a blue she shimmer. That's cool. And each one of the papers shows off a different property that you might not get from just one single type of paper. 
Let's see. This one did not bleed through the through the seat through the um writing tablet. No feathering, no bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Little bit of bleed through. But it didn't feather too badly. I would totally use the back side of this paper. This is HP 32 Pal 120 GSM copy paper. Oh, I see blue sheen. Can you see it? There it is. That's pretty cool looking. That's very unique. It's got blue shimmer. That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen blue shimmer before. But the blue on the purple makes it pop. That's very interesting. That's so cool. This is Target, five star notebook paper, very cheap, but you can still see the blue shimmer. Oh, here. Let's see if we can see, you can still see the blue shimmer when it hits the light just right. Oh, there it is, do you see it? Yeah, you can kind of see it it's right there. But it's a very dark magenta color. Very nice. This is Bay Fang Calligraphy Practice Paper. I found this at the Art Supply Warehouse. It looks like this. Seventy four grams. I see some gold sheen and I see the blue sparkle. Gold sheen, blue sparkle. Wow, that is so cool. No bleed through, no feathering, no feathering, no bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Sheen is the way the the wavelength of light that bounces off and hits your eye. It, um, some inks vibrate different wavelengths so if we had a green ink sometimes they vibrate black and you'll you'll see black around the, the sheen part on top or sometimes if you have red you'll see like a like a gold sheen and sometimes if you have blue you'll have like a like a bright red magenta sheen oh boy this is going to be my favorite. This is Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. Oh, man. You can totally see all of the properties right there. Oh, that is amazing. You can see the gold sheen with the blue shimmer and the, and the purple background, magenta background. That is so cool. Pen and Gear memo books are the best. No bleed through, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Oops. Tomoe River from the Birmingham Pen Company 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. Also has all of the cool properties. You can see the gold sheen with the blue shimmer and the purple background. That is so cool.
so cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> no bleed through. Dang it, I wish this thing had autofocus. No bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Let's see if I can turn on the autofocus. There. Okay. This is the Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. No feathering, no ghosting, I w no bleed through. I would totally use the back side of this paper. And a lot of the times, people buy paper just so that they can do one property or the other, but sometimes not both. And sometimes they buy the paper because they have all of the properties. Yes, definitely lots of different technologies went into making this ink. I don't know how they did it, but that's pretty amazing. Super cool. This is Rhodia dot pa paper 80 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. And me, I like to be able to use both sides of the paper. So that is basically what I concentrate on because if I find that a paper that an ink is bleeding through the page, cough noodlers king Philip, cough, Chris, cough. <laughs> And I probably won't buy a bottle of it. <laughs> this is CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. Let's see, is it? Oh my gosh. That looks so weird. On the, on the CVS Caliber Notebook Paper, it just looks like all sheen. I don't see any of the blue and I don't see any of the purple. That is so weird. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of the different properties like you don't know what you're going to get until you try it out on a whole bunch of different papers. This is the Lamy Notebook 90 GSM paper. Let's see if I can get close enough. This one doesn't look like it has too much going for it. It's like trying to have the blue sheen. I can kind of see the gold haloing effect. The halo is like a line around the outside of the letter. But all I see is black. That's very interesting. I can kind of see with my eye a little bit of the yellow halo, the yellow sheen, but not much. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. This is Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from walmart.com this is another one of my favorite papers to use I don't know that's weird 
this one there's a little bit of sheen and I can't really see much this yellowish paper does not do this ink any favors I, I can see the sheen with my eyes and I can kind of see a little bit of the magenta but there's I don't see any sparkle and I can barely even tell what color it is. It's like black. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. That is King Philip Requiem, I think. Yeah, that is King Philip Requiem. Boy, that bled right through the 120 GSM. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ha, huh, Chris. <laughs> it just looks black. Maybe if I put it in a finer nib, it'll be more cooperative. Oh. Oh, a little bit of sparkle, but not much. This is Mead Wide Roll Notebook Paper. It does have a little bit of ghosting, little teeny tiny bits of bleed through. I would still use the back side of this paper. Sorry about the movement. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh. Holy buckets. Wow. Look at that. That is crazy looking. What a treat. You can see all the things. You can see the blue sparkle with the green or yellow sheen. And the bright magenta, wow, isn't that cool looking? That is wicked cool. All I know is whoever's idea was to get this one, it was a good one. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm going to let that dry some more, and let's make a, let's make a, a color card. Do, 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 do. This is, what is it called? Kiwi Inks. Kiwi Inks. Kiwi inks. Triple Noto X version one. Or is it? Heponoto Kiwi Inks is the, the name of the color. I have no idea. We're just going to go with this. <laughs>
I will do this again, but with a flex nib next month. This will be used for the pur one of my purple days. Wow. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Oops. I forgot my fat head. Well. Wow. What else am I forgetting? Oh, I'm forgetting a card. I think I will be one of the first people to review this ink. So if you want a sample, I can get you a sample of this. I didn't know that it was only going to be so small. But if you want a sample, I can send you a sample. Might take a little while to get there. Okay. Yeah, it's really tiny. Okay, so co comparatively, this is a three ounce noodler bottle, and this bottle costs about Twelve dollars, and this one cost about thirty dollars. So, and I'm not a stingy person. If I use maybe five mils of this, I will be happy. <laughs> a lot of ink. Oops, I better put my a little paper down because I don't want to get it up everywhere. Did we, did, we didn't do these. Oh my gosh. This is Claire Fontaine. Did we look at the Claire Fontaine? No feathering, no bleed through. And the Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Nothing remarkable. Ooh, lots of feathering, lots of ghosting, lots of bleed through. I would not use the back side of this paper. Okay, now I can do the thing. Uh, what did I do with my little, my little friend? Where were you, friend? Okay, here you are. Do, 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 do. Wow, that is really dark. Really want people to get their money as words. it everywhere. If I had a bigger box, you guys, to put all my bottled inks. I'm running out of room. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to buy any more ink, and then this happens. It's all your fault. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wait for this to dry just a little bit. Okay. This is today's ink. It was J.R. Bank, High Night Du Nepal. J.
has a little tilde over it. Do, 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 do. Do. All right, our first Shimmer Ink is in. $30. Yeah, that's expensive. Ink is very expensive, but it is sure pretty to look at. Well, I think that is all for today. What did you guys think of today's ink? Oh, wait, almost forgot. Have to do the water test. Three, four, five, six. Waggle, waggle. No stay power whatsoever. But we will look at that. This is the Ink Swatch that will go to inkswatch.com later on today. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, make a comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. That is all for today. Have a great day. Oh, I love you. Bye. I'm so glad that you learned a lot today. It's a lot. I do videos almost every day. Tomorrow is the next to the last day of 30 Ink 30 Days. Tomorrow's ink will be a surprise. So look forward to that. I will be on somewhere between noon Pacific and 4 o'clock. You guys have a great day. And we will talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Okay, love you, bye.